Hey everyone, welcome back to the Automotive Flux channel. So this is a bit of a weird one because what you see before you is a tier list and there are a bunch of cars as well, most of them off screen, but uh, we'll get into those soon. So this is the car maturity tier list and this is something I've been thinking about for a while. I don't know why, but I just have been thinking about this discussion where it's like some cars in my mind are more mature than other cars. It, just naturally so and whether that's by brand or by the number of doors it has even uh, it's weird to think about and I thought I'd share my ideas with you so this is a tier list that I've made and it's got just a bunch of random cars on it but I'm gonna share it on Twitter I'll share the link as well in the description of this video so if you want to make your own version of this and then send me it on Twitter on discord or something like that feel free to do so I'm very interested to see what other people think of this uh, because well <laughs> this is just my opinion obviously so if I offend you with this this, then too bad, make your own and tell me why. So the categories are fairly simple. We have very mature, mature, neutral, immature, and then very immature. Uh, and as you can probably tell, we need to kind of set a baseline for what I mean by that. So let's place a few cars. First one is a Honda Civic. Uh, if you look closely at that picture, uh, it has an anime chick on the side of it, and therefore I think it's very immature. That's the kind of thing where if you show up to a job interview with this car, you might not get the job just because you have this car, honestly. <laughs> just because of this, you may not get the job. Bringing in the neutral category, first thing we have is a basic CRV. Uh, obviously, these cars are extremely normal and things that you see all the time everywhere. They're driven by pretty much everybody and they can be driven by everybody. That's basically the point. I consider the CRV to be a neutral competitor, something that is not immature or mature, it's just. A car and that's fine like I think as long as you drive something that's sort of in that category then you should have no problems at all with people judging you <laughs> uh, but some of these other cars maybe maybe a little bit so something that kind of brought up this discussion in my mind is actually the Denali that I'm holding right now because in in my head they're kind of mature but at the same time, it very much depends on the stereotype that you're going with on who actually drives these cars. Because for me, I kind of see these as being like a higher level, uh, maybe like the, a little bit of a higher level job type of person. Because they're expensive, they're like $100,000. So not just anybody can buy one. But at the same time, it's the, it's the car that like rich people buy for their young sons as well. It's like their first car, a brand new Denali in the oil fields or something. So I, I don't know how, what to think about that. But again, from my perspective, I think I'll go with mature. Because in my mind, like at almost every construction job I've had, the owner of the company or maybe some higher level people in the company, they have trucks like these, whether it's an F-150 Limited or Platinum or a Denali, just like this, uh, they seem to always have the high level trucks. And in my mind, that is mature. Expensive doesn't mean that it's actually guaranteed to be a mature vehicle though. I'm gonna put this Lamborghini here, it's a yellow Lamborghini Aventador, in the immature category. It's yellow. <laughs> it's bright yellow. It, in my mind that's, I don't know, maybe a little bit immature. And then topping off our category, just to give a baseline, is the Lexus LX. That in my mind is a very mature vehicle. It's basically made for just one thing and it's good at doing that uh, it's not something that you can really horse around with uh, so it's it's kind of one of those cars that's either driven exclusively by by like very wealthy ladies or business executives uh, that that is right there okay the baseline is set let's add some more stuff in here uh, so I have a RAV4 uh, I think that goes along with the CRV it's just Toyota's version of the CRV so nice and easy I decided it would be fun to rate my own cars as well. Like this is the uh, Infiniti G35. Personally, I think that um, when these cars were new, let's let's go with that. When they were new, they were meant to be mature, kind of like BMW 3 Series competitors. But these days, they're kind of driven by idiots and young guys like me. Uh, even though I'm not that young anymore, <laughs> I've had that car for like four years, so maybe I was young when I first got it. But nowadays, they're immature because they're covered in stickers and stuff. But when they were new, definitely mature vehicle. On the other hand, we have a Reist G35 Coupe. 
In my mind, this goes into the immature category. It's not very immature, it doesn't, it's not covered in stickers or anything, this image in particular, but it's, it's a little bit less mature than what the sedan is in my mind. Going along with that same theme, I feel like the 350Z in stock form is a mature car. Uh, I, I don't know why, but I always see kind of like older guys driving these. It seems like stock ones at least are all driven by some some older older gentlemen but it, it makes sense in my mind as well like back in the day i uh, used to deliver newspapers and one of the guys on the street uh, that i used to deliver on used to have a g35 coupe but it was stock it was mint he kept it really nice and it was an older guy so it, in my mind it's kind of like that sports car for somebody who still maybe wants back seats uh, for for at least the, the uh, G35, but the 350 is at a little more hardcore, uh, but it's a little bit of a softer sports car, at least in stock form. We got the uh, Civic Type R. Um, <laughs> I feel like that fits into the immature category. More mature than a riced out random Civic, like I think this is just a normal, normal basic Civic, not an SI or anything. Uh, so a Civic Type R, kind of kind of in that category of immature, but not not too crazy. I kind of like the Civic Type R, I'm a little biased. Rolls Royce, uh, very mature. <laughs> what are you gonna do in one of those cars though, come on. Range Rover, slap that big boy in the very mature category. Again, oftentimes very wealthy individuals driving those. You're probably noticing a trend here. Again, with my cars, uh, the Tiburon is, I think it's an immature vehicle. It's it's a sports car, but it's not a it's not as cushy as something like the 350Z or the G35 Coupe non-riced version. So in my mind, it fits right here. E-Class Mercedes. Uh, this is a tough one, honestly. E-Class, in my mind, is a, more of a very mature. If it was a C-Class, I'd probably put it in mature. Um, again, this is sort of how I view people who drive these cars, at least in their brand new form. It's like this is the target audience maybe for these vehicles. Some cars are marketed specifically to young people. Those cars are not very mature. <laughs> we got a regular Honda Civic. Let's slap that right into the neutral category. I think that makes a lot of sense for that car. We've got a Fast and the Furious uh, Supra. <laughs> very tempted to put it in the very immature category, and I think I will just because of the graphics. I don't know. If you wanted to rate this instead of mature on a scale of professionalism or maybe uh, a scale of like how likely you are to get a corporate job if you show up to the interview in one of these vehicles, then you're kind of seeing the way the things go. Except if you show up to a regular corporate job in a Rolls Royce, they're going to start to wonder what the heck you're doing. But riced out Supra, probably not the best idea. Same thing with this riced out 350Z, uh, in this picture in particular. It's got some issues. <laughs> the camber on the back end especially is just nuts. And I kind of feel like that's uh, that's indicative of somebody who's maybe not, not particularly mature. On the other hand, I kind of, I don't know, a basic Supra just like this one from the factory. Again, sports cars are almost always falling into the immature category on my scale. Uh, but maybe that's not quite right for a basic Supra. This is a toss-up. I wish I could put it in between, but for the sake of the category, I'm going to put it in immature. Now, I put on this super gross Cavalier that's obviously in a scrapyard, uh, and my intention was obviously just to put it right there, but when these were brand new, they were very neutral. Um, these days, not so much. These days, if you drive one of these, it, yeah, I mean, you're driving a cheaper vehicle. They, they were known to last, though, as crappy as they are, so... I don't blame you if you keep one of those around. Um, looking at the picture, it's not so much of a neutral car in its current state, but maybe maybe right there it, it's fine for, for where it would be if it was not in a deteriorated position like that. <laughs> it's really falling apart. So I have this Volkswagen uh, Beetle here, and this thing is something that in my mind is extremely difficult to place because it's a convertible. But if it was just a regular Beetle, to me it would be neutral. But the fact that it's a convertible, I'm not sure. I, it's gonna have to stay neutral for now. <laughs> the cars like these, they're generally, like classically, they're driven by ladies. Um, but I have no idea where to put that. I, it's just such a confusing vehicle. 
So at the bottom of the list here, uh, we have a BMW M3. Uh, this is an older M3, uh, one of the ones that I personally really like. And in my mind, I kind of find these cars to be mature. They can be used in a very immature manner, but it fits kind of well and mature for me. It is a little bit more of a prestigious uh, sports car. And I think I'm going to put the other one here in the same position. Uh, the newer M3, even this one is a coupe, this one's a sedan. Uh, the sedan probably more so in the maturity level because it's got more space, <laughs> more practical. That's Practicality is maturity in my mind. 7 Series BMW, that's got to be a mature vehicle. And not just anybody drives one of those. Kind of going off the screen a little bit, but that is an uh, Audi S5, I believe. I'll put that here. I think that that sort of qualifies again in the maturity. Last three vehicles, let's do it. WRX STI. Um, this is something that I debated really hard about in my mind, like where does this car fit? Because I have told this story on my stream in the past, but for me, like I've always kind of thought that I would not be the type of person who would drive a, a neutral car or maybe even a mature car even though I have one that I've placed in that own category I always thought that I would be the kind of guy to show up to the office in something strange and, and I am that way now because I have a Tiburon and again I work in the construction industry so everybody else drives Denali's so I show up in a Tiburon and the, the boss is driving a Denali it's a bit of a disparity there but um, I always thought that maybe I'd be that person who shows up with a, a bright blue WRX STI when everybody else is driving a black BMW, but still, it's kind of an immature car. It's cool, but it, it's immature. New Supra, um, ah man, this is hard. I put the other Supra in immature. I'm tempted to put this one in immature as well, and I think that that's where it's gonna have to stay. And finally, the Ferrari 488 Special. Uh, this is a mature sports car. Uh, and so that's kind of where I'm gonna place it. Um, so yeah, that is my tier list. Let's take a look at it in full. And there you go, those are the cars that I've rated. That's 27 cars, sort of by maturity. So what do you think? What, what cars would you change up in this list? I'm very interested to know what your opinion is. Obviously, this is mine. Some of it might be totally misguided. Uh, maybe if I did this again, I'd do it differently. <laughs> I don't know. Some of these opinions just basically change kind of how I feel that day, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'll link this again in the description and in the pinned comments. So be sure to check it out and let me know again what your answers were for this. So if you like this video, then uh, be sure to like it and subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this and also stuff in Forza, BeamNG, and uh, also Need for Speed every week. We're almost done Need for Speed Most Wanted, so be sure to check that out. And also something I don't need to make a tier list for is my join button members, because in my mind they are all in the advanced tier. Uh, we have Overlord, QT Bear, Terry Williams, uh, GA Pope, Davis Heister, The German Dude, Mickey K1, Sleep64, Childerson, Jug MBH, Antisocial, Jared, and Goofy Place. Thank you for joining on my previous stream, Goofy. I appreciate it. And everybody else in this list. Again, extreme maturity uh, by joining the channel. <laughs> I'll see you guys again next time.